Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronis with Anatory and in this story I'll show you guys how I did the color grading for this beautiful portrait for a friend of mine, she's called Barbara. I'll show you guys how I did the color grading for this specific image. I know I've posted it and I have gotten so so many DMs about how I did the color grading for this or this series of images. So this tutorial is for you guys who have been sending me messages about doing a tutorial about how I did the color grading for this particular image and for those interested in looking at the image you can check out my Instagram the link is going to be in the description of this video or you can as well check out my retouching essentials pack and my skin tone that's uh, to purchase them and try it with your own images and retouch and color grade faster in Photoshop so a link is going to be also in the description of this very video so let's click on the start learn about the adjustments I did to this particular image to color grade it in order to look that nice and attractive and have that nice and beautiful cinematic look added to it so what I did basically I came right down here to my highlights so when I came to the highlights I simply pushed them down because I wanted to get back information right in this overexposed area. So you can see what this has done to the image. Then what I did next is adding contrast to this image. So what I did, I just pushed up the contrast to around, it's going to take it to around, I think 18 is fine because I prefer my images to have that nice and rich contrast. Then I came to the shadows and I opened the shadows so just pushed and opened the shadows just all the way to around 62 I think that looks fine then I also came to my whites then I had to knock them down too just up to a point when I was getting like enough information in the image so this is the before and where we are right now so what I did, I also added blacks into the image. I think that looks fine. And this as well added some contrast to this image. Then I came all the way down to my clarity. And I added some clarity to around 10. And this adds enough detail or information to the details of the image. Then I came to my vibrance and I just added a slight vibrance to make this image pop a little bit more. Then where the magic happened more is right here under the curves. You can see under the curves adjustment layer. So this is where most of the magic happened. So what I did, I simply came to my blue channel. So we have red green and blue so i started with the blue channel so when i click on it it selects the blue channel and what i usually or what i did for the blue channel i simply added some kind of blues to my i just added some kind of blues to my highlights just a little bit just like that and I came to my greens right here. So what I did for the greens, I simply... So the next thing is going to be the greens. So what I did to the greens, I simply added some greens to the highlights. You can see what this is causing and bring to this image just like that. And I came to my reds. And what I did, I added science. So remember, the opposite of red is science. So when you push this down, you're going to get more science in the highlight area of this image. So that is what I did. So you can see the before and after, before, after. Then the next thing, or where the magic happened next is under the detail. So I had to reduce on the sharpening because I felt like the image was too sharp for my liking. So I think that looks fine then where everything took place is under the split toning option so under split toning what i basically did i came to the highlights and i simply 
first of all what you have to do first push this saturation slider up then you move this so when you start moving this you're going to start looking at it affecting the image in real time so for the highlights we just want to add that kind of greenish cinematic look to it so i'm just going to leave it right there and you can see that this is changing the image so I'm just going to pump up the saturation for my highlights up to around 19 then the shadow area too has also to be affected so i'm just going to push this up so that i can see everything in real time to around i think five looks fine then i'm going to come right here to my hues and i'm going to push this up just a little bit i don't want to take it all the way up so this is where we are right now so you can see the before and after before after so what i did next was coming right down here to my hso panel or under the color mixer option so what i did i simply muted down the oranges i think that is too much just i muted it down then i came the hues and added some reds to the oranges just slightly and i simply pushed up the reds towards the oranges then i came to my oranges too and i simply intensified them a little bit more so this is the before and after before after this is basically what i did when i was doing the color grading for this series of images that i posted onto my instagram channel and the next thing was obviously doing the skin retouching and for those interested in my skin retouching courses i'm going to put the link for you guys right above here so that you can check out how i do skin retouching from the very start to the very end to saving my images the best and sharpest way so that i don't lose out on the information or detail or having images that are going to change in color after posting them or putting them on a different device so this is all i did for the color grading of this very image and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep color grading and keep creating